Hello guys, welcome to today's video by Trust Stanley and this is a TS Tech Talk video. On today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to check your YouTube monetization eligibility if you have reached the eligible um, limit or the um, requirements for monetization on your YouTube channel and we are going to be doing this on the mobile section um quick information guys this is only available for youtube content creators or people that upload videos on youtube all right let's dive into that so go ahead and um download this particular application called yt studio so once you have it downloaded, go ahead and open the application and now make sure that you are logged in into the email account of the account that you want to check now this is my account right here so if you notice on this bottom section there are five different buttons the first one is the dashboard content and the analytics so to check your um eligibility or to check um, your progress of your monetization eligibility or requirements click on the um analytics section to check the watch hour of um your monetization swipe left and you are going to notice this area where it says watch hour which is actually the first thing i always like to check you notice currently it says 0.0, .0 which actually is not possible but do not worry guys i'm going to show you that in some seconds so when you click on that particular area wait for it most times it take a while when you click on that particular area it loads up like this now you notice it's still saying zero and pay attention to this area it says 28 days and do not forget guys our requirement for monetization is 4000 watch hour and the 4000 watch hour are going to come in within the 12 months if it's something beyond 12 months um that watch hour is not going to be counting for that particular channel so click on this drop down and then select lifetime when you choose lifetime it's going to show you the lifetime of that watch hour and also pay attention to the first time you created your first video or it started counting this is june 14 and currently we are on october 4th so this is june 14 to october 4th and this is the lifetime of this of this watch hour if your own case it passes that particular year let's say the previous years um you should know that you um your watch hour start counting from 12 months so this is the watch hour currently it is in 54 but this area is actually quite tricky do not worry i'm going to explain that this is not the exact watch hour that i have on my channel the reason why it's not so is because i uploaded a lot of shots on my video you notice i have a lot of short content let's go to content section this is all my watch um this is all my long videos and these are my shots my shot is actually giving me more view than the long videos so um i can tell that if i go over to analytics section and then you notice the top content they are all shots there is no long form video right here and um the real time view which is the one somebody is watching right now it's just one so my views are majorly coming from my shorts content not the long content and youtube do not count the short content right now although there is an update probably next year that they, they will start counting the short content but right now they are con counting the long short long content alone when they talk about the 4000 watch hour so um that watch hour i'm going to explain that later on now swipe left and this is the subscriber section so when you click on the subscriber section you do the same thing like um i did previously click on the drop down and select lifetime and you're going to see your lifetime now this one is not tricky this is exactly what you see is what you get so even though are, the subscribers are coming from short or subscribe or long they are still the same thing so you can notice right now it started counting from january 14 and this is october and it's also um 2022 so let's go ahead and back out that is actually real and then um do not forget guys um there are even more things to check for our requirement so finally let's click on this area where it has monetization if you do not have this particular section on your youtube application go ahead and update it you are probably using the old version because this has been updated and mostly everybody should be using or having this option right now so click on the monetization section and from this area you can check your monetization um, updates and the requirements how it's going you notice right now it says in money and all those things are actually information when you scroll down this is first your um how to join we need to actually get to this 1000 watch hour and currently we are on 16 subscribers right now so um we need to actually get to 1000 subscribers before we get 
um, you will be able to monetize this particular channel. And also, we only have one hour watch hour on our 4,000 watch hour. And it's actually quite a long milestone right here. You can notice the distance. And if you notice previously, it was showing 50 something. I told you guys, it doesn't actually count the ones from the short video. So this is currently the YouTube watch hour, how it displayed. And also if you scroll down, you can notice it says, I do not have any communi community guideline strike. So if you have a community guideline strike, just know that you are in trouble and you cannot monetize between that period until that community guideline strike goes away. And you notice I have not also enabled my two um, factor authentication. So I'm also going to enable this before I get monetized, which is also not an issue. So these are all I need to get to before I get monetized. So every time my subscribers increase, this is also going to increase. So guys, um, I need to actually get the subscribers to 1K subscriber. You can also help me to get this particular account to 1K subscriber. This is the name of the account, Trust Stanley. So I need to get up to 1K subscriber and 4,000 watch hour to get this account monetized. So this is all I want to show you guys on today's video. This is how to check if um, your requirement for the YouTube monetization section is getting close or it just you just want to check the progress of your monetization status. So this is how to check your YouTube monetization status and see if the requirements are going progressively, properly, and normal. So if this video is helpful, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And guys, I will see you on my next video. Please stay safe and peace.